Bum ba da dum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the site to teach you how to play banjo guitar. This week is Manlin Week, and I'm about to teach you a solo to an old song called Old Spinning Wheel. Have I used old enough in that sentence? I think so. But here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to play a guitar solo for it first. So if you're wanting to learn the mandolin solo, just wait a little while, and then I'll play the mandolin solo second. And after we get done with that, we'll jump right into the lesson. If you're watching somewhere else besides BanjoBenClark.com, I'll be honored to have you on board. Over there on the site where gold pick members get hundreds of lessons for all kinds of instruments. Be sure and check it out, and let's learn together. This song is in the key of C. It's not a fiddle tune, but I think of it as having an A part and a B part, or we might call it a verse and a chorus. Because in the first half, we just go back and forth between a C and a G chord. And then in the second half, we go to an F chord for the first time. And then we have this little cool little stop where we play a harmonic. So I think about that as the chorus. And so that's kind of how we'll divide the lesson here today. I think it's important, first of all, though, just, just stop... Don't worry about tab. Tabs are helpful, but first let's just get this basic melody in our mind. So I'm just going to play you the very basic melody of the verse, and then we'll look at how I'm spicing it up with the tab. Sounds like this. Isn't that pretty? It gets stuck in your head too. <laughs> Just ask me. <laughs> um, it's been running through my head for a couple of days now. So let's look at how I'm going to doctor that up. And I would say I'm going to use a couple different main techniques to do that. Um, I'm going to use some chromatic notes that may not fall right in the scale of the chords that we're playing over. I'll use those at times. I'm going to use a few little triplets and I'm going to use some cross picking primarily in the verse and we'll get more into that as we go. So check out the first line of tab, a little syncopated kickoff. So when we get to that measure five, that's the over the G chord, the melody is very short there. The melody just goes. And so we have the rest of that measure and most of the next measure to fill it up. So that's why I like to throw in that little lick. So that line one more time. When you get to measure seven, we're going to do this several times throughout the song. You're going to go to that third fret, and I want you to play that with your index finger because that's going to set up a G7 chord that we're going to brush through. That's what that B stands for with the arrow pointing up. That's a brush through a G7 chord. Four, three, five. So we're just going to walk up using our index finger into measure seven. Then we're there. So again, measure nine, once we land on that fifth fret, the melody's just hanging out. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I fill in the rest of this time? Well, I can just make the chord that we're over and do a little bit of syncopated strumming, and it sounds great. 
so the whole line. Okay, now measure 11, we're going to repeat the melody again, but this time I'm going to think, how can I present it a little differently than what I did the first time? And what I'm going to primarily do is add in just a few more notes. So not quite as many quarter notes, more eighth notes. Sounds like this. I kind of did a little question and answer. You hear that? Use your index finger again into measure 15. There's our brush again. And then a hammer-on pull-off triplet. Now, we're about to go into our F chord for the first time, and I'm gonna call that the chorus. Okay, so we'll learn the chorus. We're gonna talk about harmonics. We're gonna talk about some cross-picking. And then we're also going to play it all the way through slowly together. If you're watching somewhere else besides the website, I'd love to have you on board at banjobandclark.com. Gold Peak members have access to hundreds of lessons, including this one. If you're already watching on the site, don't forget to download the tab and the Jamtrack MP3 so you can practice along at various speeds.